I want to show you guys uh, some place value relationships. And those relationships are going to help us solve problems with decimals. So taking a closer look at this place value chart here, the first relationship I want to talk about is that each place value position is 10 times greater than the place value position to its right. So that means the hundreds place is 10 times greater than the tens place. The tens place is 10 times greater than the ones place. The ones place is 10 times greater than the tenths. The tenths place is 10 times greater than the hundredths place. The hundredths place is 10 times greater than the thousandths place, and so forth and so on. So <clears throat> we can use this relationship to help us solve several types of problems. So for instance, if I were to ask um, what is 10 times as much as 8 hundredths, I could use place value relationships to answer this question. So the very first thing I want to do is I want to write the decimal 8 hundredths in my place value chart. So 0 0.08. And that 8 is in the hundredths place. Well, I want to know what decimal number is 10 times greater, 10 times as much as 800. So um, I want to be thinking about, okay, um, what place value position is 10 times greater than the hundredths place? Well, uh, we can see from our chart that the tenths place is actually 10 times greater than the hundredths place. So if I write an 8 in the tenths place, we see that the answer to the question, what is 10 times as much as 8 tenths is, or I'm sorry, 8 hundredths, is actually 8 tenths. So that's uh, one type of relationship that we can use to solve uh, problems involving decimal numbers. Uh, but there's another uh, relationship that exists. between place value positions. And uh, that is uh, taking a look at a place value and uh, noticing its relationship to the place value to its left. And so it turns out that each place value is actually one-tenth of uh, the place value to its left. So uh, the thousands place is one tenth of the hundredths place. The hundredths place is one tenth of the tenths place. The tenths place is one tenth of the ones place. The ones place is one tenth of the tens place. And the tens place is one tenth of the hundredths place. And so we can use that relationship to help us answer similar questions like the one I'm re erasing right now. So, for instance, if I were to ask what is one-tenth of nine hundredths, I can use uh, the place value relationship that each place value is one tenth of the place value to its left to help me solve that. So, um, just like before, I'm going to go ahead and write uh, the decimal. Zero and nine 
hundredths. I'm going to place value table chart. And uh, I noticed my nines in the hundredths place. And I want to talk about, okay, uh, well, what is one tenth of nine hundred? Well, um, what's the question I need to be thinking about is, well, what what is one tenth of the hundredths place? And uh, we notice uh, down in the in the second place value chart in blue, the thousands thousandths place is one tenth of the hundredths place. So I'm gonna write my nine in my thousandths place. And so the answer to the question, what is one tenth of nine hundredths, is nine thousandths. And uh, just so you know, uh, one tenth of is is sort of like saying uh, ten times less than. It's it's the same thing, but uh, usually in in your in your math textbooks you're going to have that relationship expressed as one-tenth of instead of ten times less than. Um, so just keep that in mind that, that one-tenth of means the same thing as ten times less than. So um, <clears throat> just to, to, to recap, the, the two major relationships concerning place value positions we talked about first each place value position is 10 times greater than the place value position to its right. So, for instance, the ones place is 10 times greater than the tenths place. And then the second relationship we took a look at is that each place value position is one tenth of the place value position to its left. So, the hundreds place, for instance, is one tenth of the tenths place. And we can use those two relationships to help us answer questions like I have written in blue to the left of those two place value charts.